It's been a long, cold winter in Proctor Bay. We're talking five layers of clothing boating to town, with hot shots in the mitts and shoes, three layers on my head, a hot water bottle under my sweater, and a full face mask. Because you can't hide behind this iced over windshield. It's not easy for our animal neighbors either. I'm embarrassed to say I've let the new squirrel continue to hunker down on my roof till it warms up. But when it's really cold, I feed the ravens and eagles nearly every day. They'll come to my call for anything. On, a dead mouse, leftovers, <laughs> defrosted old fish I've had at Billy's. I've even shared my dried jerky stash and gone out jigging to bring a fresh fish home. They're spoiled around here. This year we had a new visiting eagle who looked terribly wet, cold, and sick. But Queek and Sally were not sharing and chased her off before she could grab some food. She barely had the strength to make it to shore. Gosh, it doesn't seem like it's flying that great. And then she fell in the water again. Oh, God. Oh, God, Billy. He can't fly. Look, he's going to freeze to death sitting in there. I just had to try and help her. I found an old woolen blanket, and my quickly hashed out plan was just to walk up and throw it on her. We'll get you warm and dry, okay? That obviously failed, and off she flew. Her inability to land in a tree saved her life, and I was able to easily catch her from the boat. Hold on. It's okay. Don't damage your wings, okay? It's going back, Boopy. Should have brought a net. Oh, there's a nudie brank down there. Oh, God. Yep. Just don't want it to sink. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Fortunately, because of the numerous baby chicks, puppies, and other pets making their way to Echo Bay, the feed shed had a whole range of cages, and I found one to fit this 12-pound eagle with nearly an 8-foot wingspan. It was time to get her warmed up. your wing, Bob. Hang on, let me have this over here. There you go. There. See? Feels way better, huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh. It's okay, my friend. It's okay, all right? I'm gonna go get you a cover, okay? At first she was just too tired to even eat. She could barely hold up her head. But after I used a tarp to seal in the heat, she started to come back to life. Hey pretty girl. Hey pretty girl. Oh, this is such a good sign. You're up. Drying off your back. I'm so excited. It's amazing. I think she might really make it. It was time to try and feed her and BP provided all the fish she needed. Now I've watched eagles eat fish hundreds and hundreds of times. They don't just gulp down huge chunks of meat like seagulls swallowing a starfish. They tear off bits of pieces like the regal birds they are. This poor eagle was so hungry, she gobbled down the humongous chunks as best she could until she started doing this. And I suddenly realized my mistake. Look, I need smaller chunks, lady. That first day she ate four rockfish and eventually settled for two fish a day. Eating on her own just wore her out, so I continued to hand feed her. She understood we meant her no harm and very quickly I stopped feeding her with gloves. I helped her dry out underneath and then gave her a good preening. Okay, I didn't do all 7,000 feathers, but she was looking rough. Travel light, let the sun eclipse you Cause your flight is about to leave And there's more to this brave adventure Than you'd ever believe Bird's eye view Awake the stars cause they're all around you Wide eyes will always brighten the blue 
Her feathers and wings hadn't been damaged, but she was clearly blind in her right eye. It looked like it had been punctured for quite some time. It must have been very difficult for her to hunt. Eagles can see four to eight times better than that of a human. They can see prey up to two miles away, fish in the water from several hundred feet above. Their eye muscles are specially adapted to maintain a sharp focus and depth perception with diving speeds reaching up to 100 miles an hour. With only one eye, it was a miracle she was even alive. But there has been cases of eagles surviving just like her, and we wondered where her mate was as eagles pair up for life. Eagles speak of freedom, and seeing her in a cage just didn't feel right. A part of me wanted to keep her as a falconry bird, but she eventually let it be known she wanted to be wild again. After two weeks, her strength was returned, and she was free. I used to volunteer at a raptor rehabilitation center, and many times a re-injured bird would find its way back for help. I hope she too will return if she ever needs help again. So